Hey guys, Chris here. I actually got a question about email forwarding. So I thought I'd throw this little video together here to actually walk you through of how to do that. Now, what I'm going to do is here, I actually have two email accounts set up here. Um, one to actually set the rule on up, on, the rule on, and the other one actually to test it with. So there's actually two ways to set rules in here. If you go to um, home at the top, there's rules, and you can go down to manage rules and alerts. Or if you hit file, you can also get to your rules and alerts this way. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a new rule. And the specific question was about an actual forward an email that someone gets to another person automatically. So we're going to actually do on the uh, apply the rule messages that I receive. And it's going to actually be a, with specific words in the subject on this case. So you check the box on top of here, click the specific words down here, and I am just going to put test since this is a test here. You can actually add more if you want, add to the list, but right now I just want the one. And then I'm going to hit next. Now, the person wants the emails that come in autom uh, to automatically go to another person. So we're actually going to forward it to a forward it to people or a public group. So down at the bottom here in step two, we're actually going to click the people or public group. And at the bottom, we're going to type the email address that we have that we want to send it to. Now you can go up on top of here and actually have it search your contacts, but I don't have any contacts, so it's not going to find anything. Click OK once you have the person or persons that you want to send it to, and hit Next. You can actually set other uh, rules to this, uh, any exceptions or whatever. Uh, so if you want to add another one, if it uh, has one word, but you don't want it to have another word, because maybe that something you don't want them to see whichever you can add that there if you want but for now I'm gonna hit finish because that's all I need to do on here I'm gonna apply this rule hit OK and we're gonna test it out so I'm actually going to go on the test account and send the other account a email and in the subject I'm going to put test you can you can have a lot of other stuff on here whatever but the keyword is test that's going to see and I'm going to send this now to make things a little bit faster here I'm going to go ahead and send and receive to kind of speed up the process now what it's doing is it's actually going to send the email to the one account it's going to say the rule is going to say, oh wait, I've got an email that has test in it, in the subject line. I think I've got a rule for that. So what I need to do is I need to forward that to the rule that was set up that says to forward it to the test account. So as we see here already, by just updating the email accounts here, here we go. That email as you can see was actually forwarded to myself because of the rule that said anything with test in the subject. Now also if you decide later you just want to stop this you can actually go in here and actually remove the rule but of course I chose the wrong account so there is none. Okay there we go. Right account, go to rules, oh here it is. If I want to get rid of it I uncheck the box, apply and now that's gone. Hope that helped uh, answer the question I had. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.